Acid rain is one of the consequences of air pollution. Gases produced from the burning of fuels react with the oxygen in the air and water vapor, transforming into acids that fall onto the Earth's surface as rain. This acidification of the Earth and surface water has devastating effects on ecosystems and poses a serious danger to living beings. Volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, natural fires, lightning and some microbial processes release sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides into the atmosphere. However, it is human action that causes most sulfur dioxide emissions due to the burning of fuels in industry and power stations, as well as half of nitrogen oxide emissions due to gases produced by motor vehicles. Likewise, although to a lesser extent, intensive livestock farming produces ammonia from the decomposition of organic matter. These three pollutants, which can be transported over long distances from where they originate, oxidize in contact with the atmosphere and result in the formation of sulfuric acid and nitric acid. These acids dissolve in water droplets in the clouds and fall on the Earth's surface as acid rain, which can also occur in the form of snow or fog. The pH of rain changes when combined with sulfuric acid and nitric acid, so when it falls onto the ground or water, it alters their chemical characteristics and endangers the balance of the ecosystems. This is known as acidification of the environment, a phenomenon that has serious effects. Oceans can lose biodiversity and productivity. The lowering of the pH of marine waters harms phytoplankton, a food source for different organisms and animals, which can modify the food chain and lead to the extinction of different marine species. Inland waters are also acidifying at a very rapid rate, which is particularly worrying, as although only 1% of the planet's water is fresh, 40% of fish live in it. This acidification increases the concentration of metal ions mainly aluminium ions, which could lead to the death of many fish, amphibians and aquatic plants in acidified lakes. In addition, heavy metals are transported to underground waters, which become unsuitable for consumption. In forests, the low pH level of the soil and the concentration of metals such as aluminium prevent vegetation from properly absorbing the water and nutrients it needs. This damages roots, slows growth and makes plants weaker and more vulnerable to diseases and pests.